To make this bracelet, you'll need bead stringing wire, and we chose 19 strand for the size of our bead stringing wire, and the color we chose is gold so that it matches our gold findings. You'll also need beads. These are gold nuggets. They're three millimeters, really pretty. We have 12 of these. We have 24 peach faceted rondels, also three millimeter. And then we have 36 of this faceted rondel. These are three millimeters, and this color is kind of a London blue topaz, it reminds me of. Kind of a dark blue, very pretty. We also have three mini tassels that have little gold hoops at the top and a bead bug. We're going to show you this. This is a fun little trick we'll show you. We have a gold clasp for our bracelet and to attach the clasp we've got two clamshell bead tips and two gold crimp beads. For tools we've got chain nose pliers and wire cutters. To make the bracelet, the first thing you want to do is cut a piece of your bead stringing wire, and we cut a piece about 13 inches long for this bracelet. And then we're going to put our beads on, but before we put our beads on, we're going to use our bead bug. So this is the little clever thing we were telling you about. This is a little spring action clamp, and you can put it on the end of your wire like that. And if we do that, we can feed the beads on the other end and they won't slide off of our bracelet wire. That way we don't have to put the ends on it just yet. We can just do the beading. If you don't have a bead bug, you can use masking tape for this, but we think this bead bug's really cute. And then we're gonna put on our beads. We have our beads lined up here in the order we're gonna put them on. I just think this is an easy way to work. I separated out 12 of the blue ones, then we have 12 of the gold ones. Now we have 24 here of the blue ones left and 24 of the peach, and we're gonna put them on in that order. Now I don't have to do any counting while I'm putting the beads on. I already did the counting in advance, so that's kind of a fun tip. And we're just gonna put the beads on one at a time, and you could feed them on like this. This is a good old-fashioned traditional way of feeding the beads on. I find it more difficult. You can see I can barely get this one on. And I prefer to put the beads in the palm of my hand like this. Those are the rest of my blue beads. And then kind of poke the end of the wire into the opening of the rondel. And they just go on faster. It's also easier to see the bead because your hand is open. There's a lot of light. So you can actually see where the hole is to poke it onto the wire. And I just run it down the wire like that. And if the bead isn't turned upright to get at the hole, you can tilt the bead with the tip of the wire like that and tilt it right on. And I just think it's much faster than trying to put them on one at a time with your fingers. So there's our first set of beads. And then for this design, we decided we're going to put tassels in between these bead colors. So here's our little tassel. And it has a little loop here at the top. And I'm just going to feed that on and then feed on the gold beads. They're more rustic, so the holes are a little harder to find and poke into. So I'm going to put these on one at a time. And Sometimes you'll have beads that aren't drilled all the way through, so you'll want to make sure you have extra beads because if you run across one that's not neatly drilled, you'll want to just get rid of it and move on to a better bead. You don't want to waste time with a bead that doesn't have a good hole in it. And we got these beautiful gold beads at a bead show, and they're some kind of um, metal and then dipped in gold, so they're not solid gold. That would be very expensive. And we just like how much shine they add to this bracelet. The other beads are all faceted rondels, and they have nice shine too, but this really adds something, this brilliant gold color. There's my hole right there. Now those gold beads are on there, and already looking very nice with that little tassel in there. And now we're gonna put another tassel on, because that's the design is to put the tassels between the colors. And now I'm going to feed on the blue ones. Now we know we can do the blue ones this way, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in the palm of my hand so I can feed them on more quickly. The tassels here we actually made, and we have a video and step-by-step -step instructions for that. If you want to make your own, we did it with embroidery floss, so you can do any colors you want. Or if you don't feel like making your own tassels, you can buy mini tassels. We've seen them with the 
other jewelry supplies. We've actually seen that where you can buy a whole card of them, like six of them already made. And they're darling. Something really cute about a little tassel. Now we do one more tassel and feed that on. And then we finish with these peach beads. And we just thought this color story looked kind of current and boho. And then we love the size of these beads. They're so delicate, and that's really the look these days. You really could make this with these with any beads, but we love these faceted rondels because all these facets give you all that light. Every time I move these, you can see all this glimmering, and that's because these have a lot of facets cut on them. Now we just have one more bead to feed on our wire here. Slide that one on. And now you can see the design of the bracelet come together. We have the 12 blue beads, 12 gold beads, 24 blue beads, and 24 peach. And each color is broken up with one of these cute little tassels. And now we're ready to put on the clasp. To put on the clasp, what we're going to do is we're going to feed on a clamshell bead tip. And the clamshell bead tip is a little metal clam, and it has an opening in the hinge. There's a little circle, and when I put the wire in there, you can see it. So there's a little circle I can feed the wire up through that. And I'm just going to let that hang out on this bracelet. And then I'm going to put on a crimp bead. And a crimp bead is a little metal tube that's meant to be crushed. So once I have the crimp bead on there, I can crush it onto the wire and it will stay put on the wire. So it's kind of a little stopper. Now I can trim that wire using my wire cutters. And then this is the fun part of the clamshell bead tip. I pull the crimp bead into the clamshell and I can use my chain nose pliers to close the clam over the crimp bead. Now it looks like a little gold bead but it's a stopper, it won't come off. Isn't that neat? And then I can use my chain nose pliers to open up this little loop that's on the clamshell and I can hang my clasp on there and then I can use this, these chain nose pliers to close that back up. Just wanna make sure that's nice and tight there. So there's our clasp on one end. Now we're gonna put the clasp on the other end. To do that, we're gonna slide all the beads down to the end that already has the clasp here. I'm going to slide it nice and tight. You don't want any movement in here. And I'm going to remove the bead bug. And I'm going to repeat what we did before. I'm going to slide the clamshell on first. And you want to do it so it's open up, so it'll close over the crimp bead. And then I'm going to feed on the crimp bead. But instead of crushing it out here, we would have all this slack. I'm going to slide it down towards the beads. So I pull all this pretty taut. I'm going to push this crimp bead inside the clam. So this end is a little harder than the first end because you want to do work tightly in this space. And I'm just going to reach inside that clam, grab the crimp bead and crimp it. And then I can trim the wire like we did before with the wire cutters and close the clamshell over the crimp bead. More magic there. It looks like a bead now. So neat how that works. And then I'm going to take this hook and put it on the other side of our clasp. This is a little barrel clasp, a little screw clasp. And then I'm going to close that little loop up so that it's secure. And that is our darling crystal and tassel friendship bracelet. Mm -hmm.